All right, so what is up guys? In this video, I wanna show you how to create a model bottom sheet dialog. And let me show you what that is real quick. So the first thing we're gonna do is tap on this show button. And as you could see, there was a slide animation for this dialog that just came up from the bottom. And you can interact with this dialog. You can slide it away or you can tap on the button or you can also tap on this uh, dimmed area here to make it disappear. But it's a very nice and simple dialog to put into your app. And I believe uh, it was Instagram that also uses it at the bottom of their user changing page. But uh, let's get started immediately by getting rid of this screen and going straight to our main activity XML. So we're gonna go to layout, activity main, and we're gonna change to the split view. And inside here, we're gonna change this text to show. We're gonna give it an ID of button show. And then we're gonna change this to a button, of course. And that's just to keep it simple for the main activity. Then we can go and create a fragment layout resource file. So we're just gonna, and here we will type in bottom sheet underscore fragment. And we can just put a linear layout in here to keep things simple and we'll click on OK. Then we can go to the split view and we can just make this a bit easier to read by holding down Control Alt plus L. And the orientation is set to vertical, which is great. And actually in here, you can do exactly what you do in every activity main XML, as you've done earlier. You just add some buttons, add whatever you want, whatever functionality you want to add to it, just insert all your views here. So the first one we will add is going to be a title. I'm just gonna copy and paste my previous title. And as you can see, it says, this is a test text with the text size of 30 SP, wrap content for the heights and match parent for the width with the gravity of center. And I'm actually gonna add a text color to this to make it a bit darker. So we're gonna do Android color black and we should give it a margin of 20 DP. Now we're just going to format that and we can add a few buttons under. So we're gonna do button, wrap content, wrap content. And what I forgot to mention actually is that we can go here and we can set the gravity to center horizontal. So everything will stay in the center. We'll give this button an ID of button, button one. I will give it some text as sample button, the margin of 20 DP. Then we will copy and paste this button and edit it slightly. So we'll go here. And we can do ID button two and sample button two. And then we can do our formatting, control alt plus L and everything should look nice. And that's actually all we're gonna do for this simple bottom sheet fragment. Now we actually have to go to our folder where we have the main activity and create a new Kotlin file class. We're just gonna type in bottom sheet fragment and click enter. And here we're gonna create a class bottom sheet fragment. And right before we continue, it actually completely slipped my mind that we have to go to our Gradle file and go to build.gradle. And then down here, we actually have to add this implementation, the Google Android Material design implementation, the 1.1.0. Although it may be different when you are watching this video, that is fine. But let's just add that implementation real quick because that contains the dialogue fragment we want to extend. So after that has been synced, we can go to our bottom sheet fragment, And in here, we can actually extend bottom sheet dialog fragment and import that. And as you can see, it will import that material design bottom sheet dialog. And right after we've created this class, we can go inside it by creating a block. And inside here, of course, we need to uh, call on create view, which is going to return super on create view. And we need to change that to return inflator.inflate. That's gonna take our r.layout.bottomsheet fragment and we're gonna insert container and we're gonna say false for attached to root. And then to add some functionality to the buttons, we can go on view created. And inside here, we can actually go button, button one, dot set on click listener. And we'll create a toast, which takes the context as the context and we can write you pressed on button one. Then we will copy and paste this and put it right here. And we'll add button two and change the toast to button two. And that's all we have to do in our fragments. 
Next, we can go to the main activity and finish this off. So all we have to do here is instantiate the fragment we just created. So we'll write bottom sheet fragment, and that's gonna be equal to bottom sheet fragment. And then right below that, we'll just write button show dot set on click listener. And we'll write bottom sheet fragment dot show and we'll take the support fragment manager and it requires you add a tag. So we're just gonna add the bottom sheet dialog tag. And of course you could have created a companion object for the bottom sheet fragment, but for now it's fine. We just click on play and that should be everything that is required to make this very simple bottom sheet dialog. So as you can see here, the application has loaded and now if we tap on show, we will get this very simple uh, text dialog that you can drag up and down and you'll have a sample button that says you pressed on button one or you pressed on button two and you can drag it away and you can call it again. And if you tap on the background, it will disappear. So it is a very simple sliding dialog that you can create for your app. In a later video, I'll show you how to round the corners and how to make it, how to customize it even more but this is just the very basics of creating a very simple model bottom sheet dialog. But anyways, that's all I wanted to show you in this video. If you like this video, please consider leaving a like. And with that, I will see you in the next video. Have a good one.